and welcome back to Let's Build Hogwarts Tutorials. This is part 14 and part 3 of our Puffle Puff Common Room and Dormitories. Now, as you can see, last time we got our common room done. Lovely, lovely. Little bit jealous. Wouldn't mind one of these. Okie dokie. And we are in the process of mapping out our dormitories. We're hoping to get about six or seven in there. We currently have two. So we're going to get another one here. So we're going to use we're going to use this here, I think. Um, we can step forward a bit, I think. So let's go forward. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. One and one. One, two, three, four, five. That's worked perfectly considering that was all random. Mm. I like it when that works. So there's a one and another two. We're going to have to knock out a little bit of wall here. So the fifth one. It's one, two. Three, four and five and then one 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 two three four five one and one so again we'll just cover this up on the outside so it's not going to bug me so we can get away with a tiny amount sticking out here because this will all be rocks when we come to do the landscaping. So we can get away with a tiddly tiny amount. And I've blocked myself outside. Excuse me, let me back in. Well, I could have just gone underneath it, couldn't I? Never mind. Right, so that gives us three. Now, you've got two choices here. What I'm going to do is I'm just essentially going to put another one here, another one here and here. I'm going to follow this around. You could, if you really wanted to, possibly fit another row at the back here. But if you put another row in the back here, make sure you leave yourself a path from this to the row at the back. So let's see how we get on. I am tempted to do it now, but we shall see. There's only so many dormitory rooms you want. So we're going to what we're going to do. I think we're going to attach onto this like before. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. Yep, that works fine for us there. So we started on the last one of that row of five there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Let's stick a torch. There we go. Two. One, two, three, four, and five. Right, where are we? We can fit another one in there, but we're going to take a step back I think one two three four five one two three no that's not right we don't want to do that one so I think we're gonna leave oh, we're gonna leave a bit of space or should we leave a bit of space Tell you what, let's work from this side now, shall we? Let's go for our five here. So let's go one, two, three, four. So 
Again, this was random, so I didn't really pay attention to where I was putting them. So we've got our 8, 3, 1 and 2. I'm looking at the walls here, 8 there, 3 there, 1 there and 2 there. We've made this level with that 2. Okay, so let's see how that works for us. I'm going to start back another one or two actually. So, yeah, so we've got, we're now level with the one. In fact, shall we make it level with the end? That might be easier, eh? easier to follow as well. Let's make it level with the end. Right, so come in by three. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, one. I see. One, two. I can't move. Ah. Two, three, four, and five. Yep. In one there, in one there, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, and five. Is that five? Yep. There we go. So how many have we got now? We've got four over there, one over there, so that's yeah, five. So, wow, we could probably fit seven in there. In fact, I think I did squeeze in seven. I could, we could push that back another one and use the wall if need be. So, let's go two in. So one, two, three, four, five. So we've started the second one in there. Let's see where that takes us. So it's one, two, three, four and five. Oh, perfect. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okie dokie. I think we could squeeze another one in here. Or, like I said, you could probably make a path. In fact, floor all this and put another row back there. But again, you would have to make sure you, you leave a path between each one. Let's just have a quick look. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, and five. Oh, you might get away with it now. One, two. So you could, but I say if you move that back two blocks, you'll have a path of two. So you could actually put a row at the back here, but I'm not going to do that. It seems a bit excessive to do that. So there's only so many rooms you can do, but you could get carried away and keep going forever, really, if you really wanted to. You could put them underneath. There's no reason why you couldn't have many levels underneath. So you've got to draw the line somewhere, so I'm drawing the line here. If you want to continue and build more, go right ahead, show me your pictures. So we're going to come in at one. So it's got one in the end there. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's see where that takes us. One, two, one, two, three, four. Perfect. 
Ooh, I'm gonna get it in. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and ah. There we go. I think that is the exact right amount. Let's just put some torches up on there, get rid of the glowstones because they're going to get in the way now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dormitories. I think that's more than enough. So what we're going to do now is just going to fill in the holes with birch because birch is our floor. We might alter a little bits of it, probably not the floor though. For example, we might fill a lot of this in with oak because it's just going to look a bit funny. But we shall see when we get there, I think. Right, now there is a possibility that this could take us over an hour. If it, we're only going over a few minutes, I don't mind, but otherwise I'd really rather not because it takes ages to transfer files and upload to YouTube. It takes long enough as it is. It takes about four to five hours to upload one video because they're quite big files. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're gonna build up our walls. So we want our oak planks. So that wall's already built for us. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. We're gonna go up by four. One, two, three, and four. So let's just build it all up. Again, if you need some help and you need some advice or I haven't made something clear and you need a bit of more help, I don't mind at all. Come find us in our Discord channel, the Minecraft Hogwarts community. There will be me and plenty others there who can help you. Help you with commands if you prefer to do the commands, because I know a lot of people prefer the commands. I'm starting to get the hang of commands, I've got to admit, but it takes me a long time. It's probably quicker to do it without at the moment. But I'm not going to, even if I do manage to get the hang of the commands, I'm not going to use them for this. Because it defies the point a bit then, doesn't it? The whole point is we keep it basic and we keep it simple. So I am going to start making my own texture pack soon, or at least I'm going to have a go. I've downloaded the software, I've just not actually opened it yet. But I've got loads of ideas of things that I'd like to make. All Harry Potter related, of course. Whether they'll all work out is another matter. I've done that too high. It doesn't matter. I'm just creating more work for myself here torch on the inside there. In fact, actually it might make the ceiling a bit easier. So let's put another row on top, shall we? Okay. 
that's two down. But so yeah, I'm gonna have a go at making my own texture pack. I've got loads and loads of ideas of things I keep, I'm, I'm having to make a list. But again, whether or not I can actually do them or not, I don't know, because I haven't actually looked at the software yet, so I don't know what's possible and what's not. If I am successful in making the bits that I want to make, I will adapt them onto this world at the end. Because as I said, we're keeping this texture pack free, we're keeping it uh, modification free, whilst we're building it anyway. There's no reason why we can't change things at the end once we're complete. I will, of course, add, I might well add that texture pack onto the survival series that I have though. I might, I don't know yet. I have to wait and see if my plans actually pan out first. I tend to have a good look at that over the weekend. And I will eventually be making a Patreon once I get up and running properly. And my texture pack will be part of that Patreon. Again, assuming I can do what it is I want to do. I know some things are possible, but whether I've got the smarts to do them is another matter. I haven't really dealt with that kind of thing yet, so who knows? But I do like learning new skills. Oh no, oh no. I lost my rhythm with that one, didn't I? So we have seven dormitories here. And what my lovely Taurus has done is she's turned one of them into a bathroom, which is rather clever. I admit I haven't seen it yet. Do intend to pop on her world in a probably after I've done this and have a nosy. Um, if that's something you like the idea of, let me know, and we will turn one of them into a bathroom. If you don't, I'll assume you don't care. <laughs> I'm just not interested. Not caring is a bit harsh. But I know I've, I've already seen little bits as she's planning to do the shower and the toilet, and I've got to admit, they do look quite, quite clever. So if you would like a bathroom, let me know and I will 
turn one into a bathroom. The last one. And then we're going to finish off our corridors. What town are we on? Um, I can't remember what time I started. I shall have to have a check. Once I finish this one, I think. Okay, we'll fill this in with oak as well. Let me just check on my software. I'm hoping my game's not going to crash. For some reason, when I switch my software, it crashes in Minecraft sometimes. So, 20 minutes. Oof, okay, so we've got 40 minutes of that yet. Okay, so, right, okay, I've got my time set in my head now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the beginning. And we're going to do our ceiling. I think we're going to block up our little holes first, I think. For instance, this is a bit of an odd shape, so let's fill in here and here. There we go. What gaps have we got in the middle there? So we'll just fill that one in there. I think we'll fill these two in there. in that one. Yeah. Fill in that one there. That one. Or should we go for those two? I think we'll go for those two. And those two. things a little bit neater. So we want to carry on with our ceiling. So 
intrinsic part of it was actually tempted to put the ceiling a little bit higher but then it's not like a burrow though it is it's described as a burrow which means little tunnels Oops, and down. Okay, let's just double check for holes. Ah, no holes. I think that's the first, isn't it? Okay. Um, but we're going to sort out our light now so we want our glowstone back whoops glowstone we're going to remove our torches and we're going to put them in the corners there um, Get the torches back. Let the torch go better. Okay, I think we'll sort out the lighting and the doors at the same time. That's going to be the door. So, in order to get that fitted in properly, we need to block up that side to put a torch above the door. Haha! <laughs> Make sure you don't put the doors on any of the flats, always on the corners, otherwise we won't get all the ones that we want on there. Now the worry is that I have here is that I could accidentally miss one, because they're not standing out anymore, but you don't want them to stand out. So that would be here, so we're going to put a door there. Take that out and put one there. Keeping those torches there. Have I done this room? Yes, I've just done that one. So that's a corner. Put a door in and then fill in the side. Oops. Torch above the door so we can get rid of that one. 
going to put some glowstone over there. In fact, no, we'll put it over here. Looks better there. Right, so there's a door there, so that's one room. So this must be another. Yes, it is. I'm going to put a door there and fill in the side and torch above the door. So I think this is another one. Yep. Fill in the side. I don't like that, so we'll fill that in there. Torch above the door. Just make sure there's no more random torches about. So we've done that one, so we're now going to do the door, fill in the side, torch above the door, like that, so there's a door there, so that's one, so this, this should be our last one, so fill in the side there, torch there, Take that one out, and that one, and that one. I appear to have got carried away with the torches over here. So we're going to put some glowstone on this corner. So we've effectively got the glowstone on the corners of each one. Hmm. Let's fill that in. It's a bit odd, that, isn't it? There we go. So we should have seven doors. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the last one over here is seven. Okay, so we're going to focus on the corridors first before we go inside. So we want some banners, if I can remember my keys. So we want some banners, yellow. Are we done with the oak? Are we done with the oak? Um, I think we are. And black, we're done with the birch for certain. And we're going to have some picture frames as well, or some paintings. I don't know why I keep calling them picture frames. We're not done with the glowstone one yet. We're done with the torches though. We've got our flower pots. We could do with some of those. So let's get some flowers to put in there. We want our poppies because we like our poppies. And we're going to go for the blue flowers. I can't remember what the... Ooh, I like those. And some daisies, I think they were. Daisies. And that will do us for now. We don't want to overdo it in the corridors. So we're going to start off here, opposite here, and we're going to put some yellow banners in there. Or should I put them lower? No. And we're going to put another one over here. Again, a bit random. I'm not setting them in certain places. I think we'll put one there. We'll put one on this wall. Because they fit quite nicely in there. And on this wall. Uh, they're not going to fit there. Never mind. We can fit them on the other side though. If I fill those in, so if I get the oak back, uh, we're not ready for the glowstone yet then. If I fill that in, I will fit them. If it fits, it sits. <laughs> okay, so I've got to be careful not to overdo these. I could put them everywhere they'll fit. I have a feeling that's what I'm going to end up doing. <laughs> They look good. Okay. Let's 
again if I block that up I might fit those in there yep should I put some on this one I kind of feel like I have to in fact no okay we're overdoing it so we are going to put some here Oh, they're not going to fit even my forest. Never mind. We'll put some picture frames up. No, we won't. I seem to be putting the banners everywhere. Where are we? Over here. Oh, we can fit one more in there. I think I'll put the banners where I can for the time being and I might remove them where they're too much. Okay, I kind of feel like I have to put some more opposite these doors. Right, okay. We'll put a picture frame there. Okay, I don't want to overdo it with the whoa. It's going to make me put a big one in there, isn't it? Nope, not there. Let's knock that one out. There we go. I do wish we had more variety in the way of paintings. That will become apparent when we do this grand staircase. But again, in the texture pack, we're going to make them Harry Potter themed. I'm going to try and make them Harry Potter themed. There's a good chance I'm not going to be able to do it yet. Too much Draco. There we go. I don't want to overdo the pictures either. do. So we're going to put some flower pots about, brighten it up a little bit. Again, I'm going to try not to overdo this, which is easily done because I do quite like them. I'm just going to put them in the corners really as much as I can. It's the Hufflepuff. They like apple. They like the plants. We could do a bigger one here. Ah, that looks good. Okay, so let's go fill them all in. I like those blue ones, they're nice, those blue ones. Again, use whatever combination you want. 
there's lots of flowers to choose from really. Just trying to keep it simple now because I'm aware at the time. I don't think we're going to get finished. Because there's still quite a bit to do. Whoops, the daisy. That means I think there's going to be part four. Right. Part four will be finishing it off and tweaks. So there's a few tweaks I want to do to some other areas, namely the courtyard. So that will be in part four. Oh, I can't have the tulips now. I've got to stick to the pattern that I've got. It's not much of a pattern, I know, but... There we go. Okie dokie. Our corridors look fan dabby dozy. <laughs> Bright, colourful, cosy, warm, lovely. Very jealous. Right, so we'll start off in our first room and we're going to do floors and ceiling. So for the ceiling, we want birch again, we want the birch back, birch planks. And we also want the glowstone. And we want now I'm going to experiment a little bit here. So we're going to start off with the brown wool. The brown wool is what I've used in survival, in my survival mode and when I did this practice model. However, I also did brown in the common room and the grey looks better. So we're going to give the grey a try in here first. See how the grey looks. We're going to need doors because those doors are going to pop out when I change that flooring, aren't they? So let's change that. See, there we go. So let's try the grey, shall we? I'm hoping it's not going to be too dark. I think it is actually, I think it looks lovely. Ceiling. Okay, we're doing butch for our ceiling. And our ceiling is a little bit higher than the corridors, but that's fine. In fact, that's probably one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's too high actually. So leave it. You ideally want four in between the floor and the ceiling. So we've got one, two, three, four. Four is the perfect height, optimum height, I think. My kitchens are four, the corridor is four. So let's do our glowstone because we're going to struggle to see in a moment. So the glowstone goes in the corners here, like that, in every corner. Like so. There we go, that looks perfect to me. I like that brown, that, that grey. It certainly looks a lot better than the brown. A bit disappointed, isn't it? Look at myself. There we go. 
So thank you to my lovely centaur for that. She does seem to have a way with the finishing touches. Well, huh. Oh, oh, look at that. That looks quite cool underneath here. Huh. Right, so grey wool for the floor. I'm going to have to pop that door out. I'm hoping to get at least the floor and ceilings done off them all. Oops. Here we go. Two down. door out, put the door back, So again, the lovely centaur has turned one of these into a bathroom. If you would like to see, come join our Discord. There will be pictures on there. I shall make sure of it. I'll make up the pictures up. To earn herself some points because she's earned them. Because we have our house cup and our house point system. I'm not going to say where we're up to with that at the moment because by the time this gets released because I'm a few weeks ahead here now because I like to be recorded a few weeks ahead so I don't know where the points system is going to stand by the time this is released I'll put it up on the edit depending how far away I edit it I tend to do that quite close to right let's put that door there Actually, I'm not sure about that. Did I forget to put the ceiling on in the other room? I did. Oh, very sorry. So I've put those two high, haven't I? There we go, that's better. Oh, I don't mind that door popping out like that. That's better.
There we go. Right, so. Oh, it's fitting with that door. Oh, it, it looks a bit better now, actually. It's not too bad. Okay, there's another one done. Another one bites the dust. Ah, 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 don't mind that door. There we go. Back. So let's start off with that. Put some wool down. Let's put the door on from the outside. Let me just check these other doors. Ah, see, I don't like that. Oh, I can stick it out like that. It's because I'm putting it on from the inside. Whoops. Okay, and a uh, glowstone. Oh, I missed a spot. Pop that out. There we go. Dark glowstone. Whoops. We do for time about 10 minutes. Should get these finished, but the floors and ceilings, anyway. We're not going to get it all completely done. This could be part four.
Pillow stone. And the ceiling. We're on. Oh, that was the last one. Oh, that's a bit dark there, isn't it? There we go. Ah, oh, yeah. Looks like a little mini garden there. Okie dokie, I think. Where are we? We've got about five minutes. It's not really enough time to get it done. So we're going to leave it there, I think. So next week, we will get the dormitories finished off. It's mainly just decoration in there. So it shouldn't take too long, but more than what time we've got today. So it's looking all right there. It's looking all right. So I think we'll call it there for today. So next time we will continue with the dormitory rooms, uh, get them decorated out, kitted out properly. And there's a couple of little tweaks that I want to do, mainly in the courtyard. Um, tiny, tiny tweak to the outer shell of the great hall and a tiny, tiny tweak in the kitchen next to Tall. She's given me a couple of ideas to put some bits in there. So I've now got to go do them. <laughs> Okay, so I shall see you next week for part four. So until then, like me, subscribe me, share me. Everything that you do is a big help and I'm very, very grateful. So thank you very much if you do. Um, and until then, take care of yourselves and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.